and welcome to the show buzz with our eye on what's new at the movies. On tap this week, a film that's being hyped as the most unexpected comedy conceived this summer. I would like you to be the first to know I'm having a baby. You're pregnant? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Jennifer Aniston is an unmarried 40-year-old whose biological clock won't stop ticking. And Jason Bateman is the guy who let her get away. Hey, Wally, guess what? We are moving back to New York. Sweetie, this is Uncle Wally. Hi. Hi, Sebastian. I think I have cyclothyme disorder. Okay, was I not? Not clear about Web MD. Fast forward seven years and she's got a son conceived through artificial insemination while he's got a secret that's been growing and growing. There's these similarities and coincidences. He looks just like you. You don't think that I could have switched Roland's ingredient for my... I... I hijacked Cassie's pregnancy? Oh, that's ill-advised. The film has once again sparked rumors about Aniston wanting to adopt a child, but whether they're true or not, she's taking it all in stride, telling reporters that the film's red carpet she's used to people prying into her personal life. And taking when a personal me, interest in Maggie Gyllenhaal and her on-screen brood is a nanny quite and unlike I'm any other. And I have to go. How could anyone possibly want you? Nanny McPhee returns sees Emma Thompson reprising her role as a caregiver every kid grows to love, this time with a new family in need. Here's what the award-winning actress had to say on the early show about the life lessons her character offers. But actually what she's really doing is giving the children the, the, the confidence to understand that they, most of the time, they can solve their own problems. Mm -hmm. And Bow Wow took his role as a Foot Locker employee who hits it big in lottery tickets seriously. He showed up at an outlet in NYC to promote the comedy, working behind the register while meeting excited fans. And finally, a first look at The Social Network, a riveting film about how on one full night at Harvard, uh, the social phenomenon yes. Facebook came to be, turning its creator Mark Zuckerberg into the youngest billionaire in history. The buzz on this one keeps on growing, and the film is set to open the New York Film Festival this fall. And that's the buzz for now. For a complete review of The Switch, head to cbsnews.com and look out for our fall movie preview next week. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.